Hi guys, welcome to Claire's Day. Hello. <laughs> I'm so sorry. How are you? How are you doing? You're welcome back to another episode of Claire's Deck, the pod, if I might add. My name is Claire, I like to spell it with a K, and you are on Pop Central, probably on TV or YouTube, or an audio streaming platform. But regardless, the constant is you're on Claire's deck. Now what do I do here? I ask my guests hypothetical questions, sometimes random, sometimes intentional, with the intent of getting to know more about them, more than I can find on their Instagram or any search engine cares to tell me. Now, today I am hanging with somebody very special. Now, I know I use this phrase, somebody very special, very, very loosely because I you know, have like 10 million episodes before now. But this one, I'm actually being for real. Like, he's very, very special to me. He's my friend. He's absolutely talented. Duh. Like, don't worry. When we get into it, you know what I mean. Like, he's so talented. And he's an amazing producer. He is. I know he doesn't want me to call, me, call him a certain name. I'm hanging with Omar. What's up, guys? Good Omzi, morning. Please. That name is not out here too. Umzi, please. Mm, so How guys, are you? I do. We're chilling, you look nice. The no, Tim's are timbing. Let me wear my shoe. That's my financial company. Oh yeah, get. <laughs> this young man wants to match my face. That's the intent. <laughs> How are you? You look so nice. Yeah, man. You know where when I'm going to I think last year. And yeah. you say that I know. How did I not know if you got it just last year? Last year, now you're. Ah, you've seen it. I haven't seen it. I think I posted itself. I don't care about your post. Damn. <laughs> that, that broke my anyway, heart. so you know what we do on Claire's? Like I ask you hypothetical questions. Oh yeah, no. Right, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. All right, let's get right into the questions. Are you yeah, nervous? No. no. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah, you're a strong man. Uh. Oh my. You should be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> but you fear you shall. Would you take seventy thousand naira? And <laughs> sorry. Sorry. <laughs> My tax bracket is separate. me. <laughs> Would you take seventy thousand mm. dollars per week for a job offer, where you get paid to sit in a pitch black room and do nothing for twenty hours a day? Seventy thousand dollars a week. Hmm. Will you do it? Hmm. Seventy k is is, is is a lot though. What you do you Sit in a black, dark... I'll not do anything. I'll just be chilling. Well, it's dark, pitch black. You can't ah. see anything. For oh, 20 no. hours, 20, 8 20 day. hours. Ah, I miss that bitch. They always do all those kind of things. Or oh, more. Oh, I nice think... Ah. Uh, I'll do it. You'll do it? Oh, my like, if you, if Wait, you, for a year? I mean, you don't have to do it for a year. It doesn't state that. But, like, 70k a week... Pitch, ah, oh, that's day, crazy. Yo. Pitch black. You know that when you I'll take go a, crazy. You will go crazy though. Ah, I'm, all, I'm not sure, man. I, I'm not sure. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> ah. You will go crazy because if you can't see Yeah, because anything, you're not seeing anything. Bruh, if you, you can't just start see hallucinating. Now, yeah. Serious hallucination, man. If it was like an empty room, maybe you can see stuff. You're exactly, just yeah. That's ah, but that's crazy. No, I can't do it. I'm sorry. Oh, pitch black. Like, like, 70k is crazy. But I can't do it, man. I'm going to do it out. <laughs> I'm not sure I can't do that. I'll do it for like one week. I can't. <laughs> what would you hear if I asked a group of people <laughs> who know you for five adjectives to describe you? Hmm. You can ask me one. Oh, yeah, no. I'll tell you. Yeah. Five adjectives. Okay. <clears throat> First adjective, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I get it a lot. Very funny. I don't know why it's so funny. <laughs> you're talented. Mm-hmm. You're, you're ambitious. Yeah, you know yeah, you yeah, are yeah. Ambitious. You got steez though. Mm-hmm. Steez an adjective. Steez. They go yes. now. And the fifth one. <laughs> Bodies. I don't know about that one. No. <laughs> Jesus boy. Jesus boy. Bodies. Jesus I'll describe boy. Describe his bodies. Bodies like you, you're like a honey for bodies. Ah. Bodies are the bee. Damn. I don't know, man. I mean, that's not even a visible adjective because bees are not attracted to honey, but. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I think you're right, Sha. Yeah. You know me, you know me. Mm, so you know the last one I'm right. Alright, cool. Which place <laughs> on the planet would you never want to live and why? Hmm. Huh? I think. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, 
No, I think I uh, know. I think Nigeria is cool. Nigeria is cool, man. But I think ah, uh, there's one country. I think, Co- I think Korea. I think their, their president has some crazy rule. In North Korea. Yeah, North yeah. Korea. Never. <laughs> he has yeah. some crazy ass rule, man. If you don't want to do that, the guy never. that will tell you not to use the internet. Exactly. I heard that. I even heard. I think I don't know. He said he, you can't have your picture mm-hmm. in your house. It has to it be, has his, be picture. his picture. Yeah. So. <laughs> Is that your major problem? Like. I can't showcase my my, s- in my myself video. like. What? But like, nah, nah. I think he has too much rules, so. Mm. Like, that's just too much. I get that. It's very yeah. stupid. I can't live in North, North I Korea. I can't stay there, man. Nah, nah. Even if you paid me. I'll collect the money. But I said. <laughs> Which famous person's body would you take over if you were a zombie? Nigerian hmm. abroad. Hmm. That's a serious one. Hmm. This young man has thought about this before. That's the no, I've, I've, no, I don't think I have it, you know. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going to go into burn a boy, then. For real? Quick. Nah, nah. Not metaphorically. <laughs> <laughs> what was this, this guy's name? Mike, I think Michael B. Jordan, yeah. Mm, yeah. Why? I you want to like- date Laurie for a bit? I didn't say that, but she's all you know, like, well, he's ripped now, like, <sighs> yeah. But there's so many ripped people. I'm ripped. Are you? I, I'm, I'm ripped too, you know. I became the gym. I beg, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> <Now>, wow. <laughs> yeah, no. What would your first reaction be if I told you that you had failed? Hmm. In life. Uh. Hmm. I don't think I'll. I don't know. I don't think I'll think about it deep like that. But I feel like you would tell me. You didn't want me exactly <laughs> like. You didn't want me, man. No, no. Nah. I'll just. I'll just know that. Okay. Because Maybe I, I know you're, you're like a very honest person, but like I'll just feel like. Mm. Maybe I'll just think like you're whining me actually because you joke a lot. <laughs> First of all. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather forget about yourself or forget about anyone else? Hmm. I forget about someone else. Hmm. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. That makes yeah. sense. Okay. Would you rather forget about yourself or forget about everyone else, including oh. your mom, your dad, your siblings? Hmm. Ah, I think I would rather forget about myself because <laughs> I, I care about people. Else. Yeah. Oh. So you want to forget yourself, but you need to know that that's your dad. But then, who is you in that sentence? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Deep breath. Yeah. Such a deep guy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm all... Would you rather have to say anything that comes to mind all the time or never have to say anything at all? No, I, I think... Hmm, being reserved is good sometimes. Knowing you, I think you wouldn't want to say anything at all. Yeah. I'm, more, mm-hmm. I'm mostly reserved, I say. I don't think you're reserved. Oh, man. Maybe, maybe if I'm free with you. Or, okay, you know, yeah, that guy, yeah. Like, oh, so I'm, I'm just to... meeting someone. I'm mostly reserved, but like if we get to know each other, then mm. see the real, the see the I real me. I've seen that. Like, I've never met reserved Omar. I don't even know what that looks like. I think I'm just meeting him right now. Ah, uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's killing me. <laughs> okay, what music would you prefer if you could just listen to one song for the rest of your life? Hmm. Like you're talking about genre. Mm, one song. Hmm. Hmm. Just one, and I know you're a producer, so this is hard. It's hard, I swear. I and it's not a song you produced. One, so song, one song, one song. Hmm. Damn, I think I have to think about that because there are so many good songs. I know. And there are so many songs that I like. Mm. But what's your favorite? Off hmm. the top of your head, the first song that came to your mind when I asked that question. I think uh, "Beat of Life." Mm. Yeah. Savage. Yeah. yeah. I get that. I see that. That's a crazy record. Mm. Can't even lie. You always be in party mode. Yeah. If I could listen to one record for the rest of my life, I think it'd be Gateway Drug by Rick mm. So random, right, boys? It's an S E X song, kind of. <laughs> but it's not like I want to be doing that for the rest of my life. <laughs> but you for know, me, I just want to be partying. Yeah, like, jai dai. Jai. Enjoy Let's just go day. on the move every time. I man. love that. I swear. <laughs> Would you rather sell all your equipment for 2,000 Naira? No. Ne- <laughs> Go let me land now. I don't want yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, I go. I've already heard that. That's your answer now. Oh yeah, finish. No, no, sister, you get no, no, no. That, That's your answer. No vex, yeah, no vex. That's your answer. You are going with that. <laughs> oh yeah, make I hear the question. Would you rather sell your equipment for 2K naira? Or All my equipment. Everything. Because your headset, your mic. Ah. Your Timbaland. Because <laughs> <laughs> if you use them, they will give me. <laughs> Would you rather sell all your equipment for 2,000 naira or never produce again? Ah, I'll sell it too. <laughs> Sharply. I love making music, man. You see yourself. <laughs> I didn't even wait for the question. <laughs> so how but much I'm is I'll enough sell money for you to sell all of your equipment if you're not going to sell it for 2K? Is it in the sense of the question? Mm, okay, yes. If. If the other side is to never I don't think it. no, like I okay, always want to make money. Okay, not the sense music. of the question, right? If you could put a price to sell all, all my equipment. Well, if I sell it, I'll buy it again now. Eh, but if hypothetically you put a price to all of your equipment, how much could it possibly cost? Because hmm. people that don't have production equipment in comparison to two thousand naira, they wouldn't fully understand the gravity. Like maybe, ah, uh, maybe three k, five k. Dollars. Yes, no. <laughs> oh, do you say it's a fucking naira? It's not so far from 2k. No, no. no uh uh-uh. Would you rather. Mm-hmm. No, actually, every day, every day, mm-hmm. 12 new things arrive at your house, all of which begin with a letter that you choose. Which letter would you pick? Hmm. Apart from M. M? Mm-hmm. I think G. So everything that comes is G, G, Gary, yeah. Granot, <laughs> Megiri. <laughs> wait, I know, wait, I wait. know what you are. Yeah, G. G. Yeah. No, I said minus M. <laughs> Why? You don't think money. Hmm. You know? So, Omar, real quick, would you rather go back in time mm-hmm. and start life all over again, right? Mm-hmm. Or you wake up right now, which is kind of the same thing, and you realize... Everything so far has been a dream. Hmm. Nah, I think I'll start over. Why? Right. Yeah. Why? Hmm. Because I'll get to learn so many things. Like. But you won't start to... all, all, all over with the memory that you already have. Oh, so but I'll if be. If you woke up and everything was a dream, you kind of know everything that you know now, but it was a dream, and then you can hmm. wake up and execute in your real life. Okay, I think I'll just do that. Such a wise woman. I say. <laughs> So, Elton, this is my favorite part of the show. Mm. Mm, sorry, sorry, sorry. Please cut it out, editor. Okay, you gotta cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right, all right. I'm about to go on a break mm-hmm. because we're about to go into the Never Have I Ever segment, the most important hey. part. Welcome to Claire's Deck. And we're back to Claire's Deck. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still with Omzi, please. Yeah. God Omar himself, amazingly talented, super special no easy. producer guy. I'm gonna start. <laughs> I'm about to answer never have I ever. So you have to take hmm. the bat. If you have, you have. If you have hmm. not, you have not. Is it piece of lemon squeezing? But before we go into it, can we take a shot of yeah, liquid yeah, yeah, courage? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I like to get in there. Do you have to cheers? Okay. Let me just put this. Ah. Mm. I gave coffee. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You, you don't go take salt. I'm not going to salt now. Ah. Uh. <laughs> this man is a cousin. Uh, wait, I will move to the. Ah, I'm not going to take it. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, take me a break. Okay. <clears throat> I'm ready. I'm ready for you. 
<laughs> I feel like people that take vodka and shots, y'all lions. <laughs> Raw anytime, nigga. <laughs> because tell me what I want to faint now. Okay, Umzi. Never have I ever mm-hmm. been on a blind date. So every date where you don't go now, you know everybody before you reach them. Yeah. You've met them. Before. Yeah. No. Okay. No. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> mm. Mm. Oh, yeah. How was it? It was, it was good. It was good. It was good. Do you I recently think? had one, you know. Really? Yeah, I think two months ago. Was it like a green flag, red flag, green light? I'm a red, light. red flag. Oh. Hey. Red, serious. So what's like no, it was. It was. Uh, it, was, it was it was it was good it was it was it was a green flag it was nah, a green flag it's red. Bruh, if the light is green you are going to know that yeah it's <gasps> beaming green <laughs> but like what, what's what, what's one thing that makes your red flag signal go ding ding at the mm. i think when i think talking too much mm. yeah i like i like reserved it's so crazy Jeez. that we're friends though, because like I talk too much. <laughs> Just talking to me like <laughs> I, I swear. But I think talking too much is is like a big red flag. Mm, I feel that. Like. A big one, like just calm down. Like far above it, that's yeah. not difficult. Okay? I swear. Like, Will you know, Loria? Will you throw money? Calm ahead? down. Yeah. Talk like a rich man. Shut up. <laughs> Never have, I ever, <laughs> never have I ever lied to law enforcement. Ah. There's no way in this Lagos. Ah. Lie? You have to. Say that. So, do, do. Bro. You must constantly lie to law enforcement. It's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sick. I'm going to the hospital. Please, just let me go. <laughs> Bro. Do you know what me I do? If law enforcement is like, ah, mama, anything for us, I'm going to be like, ah, it's my birthday or you are supposed to give me something. Anything well, for I can't me. Count the number of times I've played beats for those guys. I used to just sit there, producer. I will bring out my laptop, my headset. Oh, yeah, listen, Oga. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, too. Because they never believe. Once they see you with laptop, they're like, hmm. Mm. Mm. So, okay, wait, producer. Wait, I'll show them my IG too, and they're like, hmm, okay, oh yeah, oh yeah. You go anything for us. Yeah, imagine if you play a beat and one of them starts rapping. Ah, one has told me that his son is a, is, a, is an artist, too, that I should, I should give him beats. Collect them my number. <laughs> did you give him beats? I, I don't think, I don't, he never called me. To be honest, but if he had day, I have yeah, yeah, I would have given him, him yeah. yeah. <laughs> He'd just be my guy. I'll just call him anytime, you know. Necessary, necessary. Necessary. That's just so crazy, though. Never have I ever gotten a tattoo I regret. No, no. Everything not, you yeah. like. Yeah, I like it. Inspo behind the one on, under who's got a lighter. By the uh, way, Groot, I love Groot a lot. Oh, okay. So yeah, that's why I got it. Then this one, um, is Yin Yang. Okay. So yeah. Yin Yang. I think it means strength, perseverance, and some other stuff. Aww. But this is my producer tag. Who's got a lighter? Who's so, got yeah. a? Yeah. Come on. Who's got a lighter? Show the people what they want to see. Who's got a light We're talking about the tattoo, okay, not other things. Then, <laughs> so I put it then there. Yin Yang. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> I have just one tattoo. Mm, you need to get more, man. Will you follow me? Yeah, sure. Should we go on a tattoo date? I'm down. Twins? Okay. Oh my God, let's get matching tattoos. Ah. <laughs> you were with me until you weren't. Why? Okay, what are we getting first? Maybe. It's like a smiley or... Yeah, but like I feel like we could get... Imagine tattoos, not necessarily the same things, but complete tattoos. Like mm, half enough. a heart, half a heart. And then yeah. when we come together, we connect. I'm down for that. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, we've been friends since like I was in JS1. So Guys. don't think I'm asking a random stranger to get matching <laughs> tattoos. <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> but they'd be like, Claire, stop. We go way back. We go way, way back. Way back. That's my big. So... Never have I ever used a fake ID for anything. Hmm. I don't think I have not. Yeah. I don't think I've. I've Such a bad boy, but like I might have. To be honest. I've not. It's my track record. (laughs) Never have I ever broken up with someone. I've 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 never. I don't think I've Eh? ever dated anyone. So. I don't think. Yeah. I've never. I've never dated anyone. 
So I've never broken up with anyone, guys. So you've never had a girlfriend? No. You've never had but anybody I've you had... call your girlfriend? No, no, actually, no. You've never but... had anybody you call? No. Oh. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, put up. So now you date me. Ah, <laughs> eh, mm, mm. No, I have not, guys. I'm sure you guys can see it. I can't believe this it money. is bold. <laughs> I have not, so yeah. I just want to ask you one more time. Emma. For real. Remember, this is the way they hold. You know, if you, have you ever wondered why I used to give you something to hold? Yeah, that Rather is being honest it, now. No, it's because there's a thunder attached to it. Yeah, no problem. The thunder can strike me. Ah! I have not dated anyone. I'm with it though. <laughs> this man is the definition of standing on business. Like, I don't yeah, care. Okay. <laughs> Look at the Timbs. No. It's standing as hell. I love oh my god. I know your shoes. Never have I ever gotten seriously hung over. Ah, I have. Mm. And did you say you were never gonna drink again after that? Ah, I said it, but I've done. <laughs> but what's the Lagos nightlife thing? is crazy, but I love it though. I can't lie. Mm, part of the job. Yeah. The job. But what, what's the craziest thing you've ever done drunk? Hmm. Hmm. Clear. Uh, Which kind of position you they put me? I just they put you now. Uh, I think, I think it was a one night stand. So mm-hmm. yeah, that's so crazy though. <coughs> I feel like m- most people that choose to admit might have. I'm being real on your show. Don't worry. <laughs> if I might choose to be sure. <laughs> But yeah, I think yeah, one night stand, yeah. That's the craziest thing I've yeah, ever done. Yeah, ever done drunk. What's the craziest thing I've ever done drunk? Um I think drunk down my ex. Glad mm. I don't do that again. Never have I ever used someone else's toothbrush. No. <laughs> I have not, please. <laughs> That's nasty. That's a dirty boy's book. Uh-uh. Yeah, it is nasty. Don't use your mouth for that thing. Don't Jesus, use to kiss the same man that they are brushing with the Jesus people. boy. I'm a Jesus with me. So you never, so never kissed? No, I've kissed obviously. No, no, speaking of kiss, never <coughs> have I ever kissed someone in public. Uh, I have kissed someone in public. So many times. Because me, I don't see you kiss so I'm, I'm <laughs> the public, you know? You know? <laughs> I have. Uh, and how was it? Would you say you can live in a country like America where everybody's like kissing, 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 kissing? Yeah, of course, kissing. yeah. Yeah, you don't care, right? Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Never have I ever fallen asleep in public. Ah, uh, uh, I hate it so much, bro. Why are they always these guys? <laughs> How do you I have. Oh, uh, it does rest my head. If I'm if I'm in a car or if I'm like maybe in a pub, like maybe like in the studio with a group yeah, of yeah I just rest my head on the table or something, uh. or I rest my head on my. Up, yeah, uh, nah. Because people just be taking videos, man, <laughs> to <laughs> haunt you. <laughs> Post it on your birthday or just why so you. So if you fell asleep where people are boys, do you think you'll make a video and post it? Definitely. <laughs> Shame to <you> too. <laughs> they are going to make videos. <laughs> Definitely. Because I do the same to them. I was about to say, because it's something that you would do. I, I would do it. So why so. do you expect anything less, Amzi? <laughs> I swear. <laughs> Never have I ever fought in public. Actually, speaking of this falling asleep in public, I have fallen asleep in public. Where? So the first time I tried Jamaican food, right? Ah, uh, it was to, too good. It was so good. Oh. I went to jump skin. I was so full. So I slept there. And I was trying Power to nap. <laughs> I had to recoup. Like, tell me why. I was just like, ah! My friend was like, Claire, oh, oh. <laughs> It was too good. But the place was empty, so I'm good. Oh, uh, okay, fine. But it's not like I was like, oh, yeah, let me sleep. Imagine you do, your food, you never even clear the plate. Yeah, that's the... I'd love to try Jamaican food. We should go try Jamaican I'm food. down now. Yeah, we should do that. Never have I ever fought in public. Mm. No, I'm a reserved mm. guy, man. Yeah, yeah. I don't even think you can fight. Them, okay. mm, they mm. play. Yeah, yeah no. So, so you fought in private? Exactly. No. Ah, I'm sure in, I've, I've fought in, in okay, high school. No. You yeah, in high five. school. Ah. I'm sure, man. Ah, in I was I was calm. I was notorious too. Like I was in between. I feel like you were one of those guys that I feel like you were one of those guys that you talk that talk, but you don't actually do that. Yeah, like, no, no. But you're not that notorious. I was. Uh, <laughs> I feel like 
People thought you were notorious. Yeah. You used to say you were notorious. You used to hang. But I was calm. I was with some you bad boys. You don't mind. To but but now I do. That was then. Now uh, uh-huh. I do now, guys. Now don't mind, Claire. Yeah. So what's the craziest thing you think you could do right now? Uh, with the mind that you have. Can you jump out of a plane? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, we parachute show now. I I want. I still want I mean, to bring do back shit back like this that. You know. Yeah, you can't know. Oh yeah, no. I'm a worry. <laughs> Never ever ever like to get out of going to work or going no. for a session. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I have. I have. Hmm. I've lied to, yeah, so I can get go to a session. Yeah, definitely. But have you ever lied? Um, have you ever had to work with somebody that you don't like or produce for an artist that you don't really like? No, I think I, I enjoy everybody I work with. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's Never have I ever given a fake name. Ah, I've had so many names, man. Oh What's your go-to fake name? Ah, Taufik. <laughs> 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 but it's just like for bands, like if I'm just meeting someone for the first time, like while well, like in a party or something, I'd be like, hi, I'm Taufik. It kind of mm. looks good on you, though. Ah. Tau. Tau. Tau, tau. <laughs> tau, 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 tau. In fact, speaking of names, your name's Omzi, please. Your uh, name's Omzi, please, right? Yeah. What's your full name? My full name's uh, Elton Chikum- Chikuka Chikuma. Hmm. So, yeah. So, where did the Omzi come from? Um, I think, I I think mean, Omar, my friend gave me Omzi, then Omar. Your friend gave you Omzi, please? Yeah. Nice. No, oh, my okay. friend gave, gave me Omzi. Hmm. Yeah, somebody else yeah. gave you Omzi, please. Yeah. From, like, people, like... From artists and artists mani- uh, managers like saying, Omzi, please, Omzi, please send my stems. Omzi, please like, do this, this to me. Omzi, question. please. So that's how the name came about. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry because I know this man. <laughs> okay. That's the truth, guys. Okay. Real, and then, um, who's got a lighter? How about that? That time. Yeah, I think my friend, Tena, Tena Temple. He's an artist, so yeah. I think he gave me the tag. He's yeah, like, he wanted somebody to pass him the lighter, and he was like, who's got a lighter? Yeah, and, like, hmm. and uh, yeah, it stuck, I saw. It stuck, yeah. and I was like, yeah, that's fire. Then I got my friend's ex. They are not dating anymore, they broke up, so she did the tag. And, yeah. hmm, that's I've been so using crazy. it since. Do you, fun fact, like, when Omar decided that he was interested in fact i don't even think it was a an actual decision because i don't think you and i sat down and were like mm, i think we should do music or something like that no, no but you no know, when we we're in high school like i've always we're always rapping is that we're singing just a bieber or some yc or oh some God, we ways like YC so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> so like whether then, rapping or singing i had this book with lyrics yeah you and do. you were always like giving me beats oh you see like now i suppose become i suppose they rap or so calm now seriously i said <laughs> and do you know? Let me tell you. I'm just remembering, man. <laughs> singing on the desk. Oh my god! <laughs> and we used to even do it, sir. Yes, now Miss Uto, <laughs> Justin Bieber. Oh my god! Wise man. He always say you go be nasty, say I go be the babe. Guy, I've done so many, <laughs> so many. Bro, oh my goodness! But that's so cool to remember that that's right a, now. Yeah, no. That's actually so cool. And I actually remember that I wanted to do music. I don't yes, know. Yes, no. I don't know what happened. And I always say here that, oh, I'm a rapper. And everybody's just like, ha, 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 They don't believe you. Guys, she's bad, though. <laughs> don't try her. So, go, um, hello? Are you here now? <laughs> the next time I come on this place and say, I can she's rap. She's bad, though. I don't need nobody don't laughing. Don't worry, need beats. I got you. Omzi. Um, in fact, you don't even, maybe you record that first song where I write. That's true. <laughs> Guys, she's bad. Don't worry, don't worry. She's bad. I know. What's your name? Hassan. <laughs> Repeat it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Repeat that I'm bad. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I should go. Okay. Last never have I ever questioned before we move in to talk about your work. Oh my god, I'm such a different person already. I don't remember. <laughs> never have I ever dumped someone over a text ah i have oh, all these sweets i just i think i 
I have conscience too much because if I do it in person, ah. You won't be able to it. No, I can't, but like, I just be thinking about the other person. Like, I think about people too much, man. I, I just prefer text. Let me just say, okay, I'm sorry. So, blah, blah, blah. Details. So, that would mean you've dated before? No, like, I've had things, but like, situationships and things, but like, ah! dated, it never gets to that. Yeah. Trust me. Never gets to that. But why is that? Is that you're afraid of I don't know, like. Or you just don't like relationships? Or you are afraid of relationships? No, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm a committed person. I think when I see what I want, I go for it. And I have not seen. Hmm? Yeah, I've not what, seen. So what do you want in the whole of this Lagos? I, I, I don't know. You know. I know. I actually know, you know. But Is like, it one of those things that you don't know what you want, but when you see it, you will know that that's what you want? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's it. When, you know when you just see, you just be like, that's it. That's the girl. That's the girl. <laughs> You're a liar. So, guys, I've been totally honest on the show. Don't mind, play. Let me tell you something. When Omzi raises his eyebrows, he's lying. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally, he's lying. Hmm. Because you know what I think it is? What? I think that you don't really like relationships anymore. Because like you said, you are a committed person. Yeah, I know that. Exactly. But how do I know that? Have you wondered? Okay, so now. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what she's so saying. So now, I'm, I'm getting somewhere. You're, you're a very committed person. I feel like. Yeah, the... but I've had things like. I've liked someone. I've liked people. But like, you never just gets there. As I was saying. Or oh, do, do you call second, secondary school? stuff i know you don't call it relationship no right? i don't think you should call it a relationship because right. your mind's never mature now like okay we're all well children. i didn't even have any <laughs> of that in high school <laughs> if you say so so you had a relationship in high school no you did <laughs> oh my was this i get that though to be honest i'm just taunting him because if i dated someone in high school i wouldn't call that my ex like you know i dated one guy like that like, yes no exactly like, yeah that's not your ex no um, like, i never added we're children my ex is but <laughs> I say this to say that because it was our formative years, right? Mm-hmm. Relationships that we had at that time will take a toll on kind of how we see relationships now. Now, yeah. yeah. So it's not necessarily that sh- that was your girlfriend, but I think it would have had an effect on how you see dating now. You're like, yeah, no, nah, I'm not going to do that. Because in the end, right, like you said, you were, you know, you, if you like, you like, and that's it. And that's a good quality to have. Mm-hmm. But I feel like because of how that particular one ended, you are like, oh my god is this what you guys are doing in life you get i'm not involving myself in any of that never and it's just so crazy to see that that's you know i was just talking to my mom about this thing today i'm about to go deep i'm sorry i was talking to my mom about this thing today and i told my mom that the reason why i have such shit relationships with men excuse my language is because of my dad Mm. not just my dad like like their relationship like you know when you the first representation of a relationship that you see yeah by the time you i'm like crazy <laughs> i don't know if i want to do that so it's a thing where but i definitely want to get married though i, I, I want to get married as well i just need to fix I need to that. see little umsies running around you know? hmm. little umsies hope they don't lie on tv shows nah, guys i've not lied since <laughs> Welcome to Claire's Deck. And you're welcome back to Claire's Deck. I don't know why I still say welcome back because it's a podcast, but you're welcome back, baby. <laughs> I'm still with Arm Z. Omar. You were yeah. telling me how your name is Omar. You know, I said that. Ah, your name is Chukwebka. So it's Chuk- from- Elton Chikuma. Elton Chikuka Chikuma. So that's how God Omar came from, okay. guys. So can I call so, you Elton? No, on the show, no. Please call me Omar. Yeah, thank Sad you. Like, you want to punch me and stuff. <laughs> Whoa, okay. So now I want to talk about your work. Mm-hmm. You produced one of my favorite songs right now. Mm-hmm. So if you don't know, I'm such a huge fan of the song Komio by Niniola. Yeah. Majorly because of the innuendos. Mm. The lyrics are quite smart. Because mm-hmm. you can't play it on radio, but yeah. you can. <laughs> you're not supposed to, you know? <laughs> so for some context, she basically said, Okomio. Well, you, you, you're alright. Let me come here. You remove me. Oh, 
So okay, Okomi, your yeah, is... I, I I think she she was trying. It was gospel and it wasn't gospel. Do you understand? It was like Nini is crazy. She's crazy <laughs> like that, and I love it. Like when I heard the song, and the first time I heard it was on air, on radio. It was just spinning, but but then. Did I hear who's got the lighter? No, I didn't. No, no, no I, I think, think, think I just saw it on your page. Yeah. I didn't hear your tag on it. Yeah. But when I heard the lyrics, for some reason I understand that. Don't ask me why. But I was like, this is so good. Yeah. Then I saw you post it. My friend made this. That's <laughs> so crazy. And then you have a record with YKB and King Promise. Yeah. First of all, how did you even get in into the industry? Because you were in SARS Academy yeah. for a while. For so a master class, yeah. Was it from there? No, I think I started um, production majorly in 20, 2020. But I've always been messing with the software. Yeah. Like from high school. I remember. I used to play drums in church though, but like when I was 13, 14, yeah. Then I just always messed with the software, just making stuff that was mm. not even sweet. Mm. Then, but like gradual process, meeting people, learning from people, and just getting better. That's mm. how I just you got into it. So how yeah. was SARS Academy? Was that? Was ah, it was was really was, nice was fun. Yeah, it was it was a nice experience. It taught us about YouTube. Then SARS showed us one or two. Mm. And do you think it broadened your like horizon in terms of production? Like, were you like, oh, now I know that? And I think I, I knew most of the stuff. So like, I knew most of them. Yeah, yeah. okay, that's lit. That's but like lit. learning from him, like seeing one or two, like yeah, definitely yeah. So how did the bromance with P Prime start? Like, where did you guys uh, meet? How did you guys meet? I, I think I met Prime. First time I met Prime was at Jeff Akko's house. Okay. Yeah, I met I met him there. They were having a session. So yeah, I met him there, and it was it was why I knew me. <laughs> so from there, I think we exchanged contact, and we just kept on building our relationship from and there. But he's a special guy. He's a very good friend of mine. Huh? Yeah, and now you're gonna take photographs of you sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I was really love that. I love the promise. Yeah. Prime has been on here and it was actually thanks to Omzi. So I saw Prime at Fire's listening, if you remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then Omzi was like, Oh Prime, you make your clear. And I was like, Oh, I have a show. You wanna come on my show? And he was like, <laughs> That's hey, true, that's yeah, true. That's, that's actually <laughs> that's how it actually happened, dude. <laughs> that's literally how it happened. Yeah. And Prime was here and it was a sore time. Which was like what, two years ago? I think it was like yeah, two yeah. years ago. Yeah, so he has been doing things since Tikba Tikba. Yeah, so uh, ah, the day, bad boy. Day, day. When did you buy your first laptop? I think 20. It wasn't 2020. No, it wasn't 2019. Yeah, it wasn't 2019. It was like 2017. Maybe 2017, yeah. Yeah, 2017. Now I'm questions for you, my God. <laughs> you know me too well. <laughs> what was your favorite part of our production, though? Ah, post production, post production. I that's love that's it so part. much. Like when you have the vocals. And you know that okay, we need to go crazy so you can mm. become a smash. Yeah. I think you have such amazing ears for music, to be honest. Yeah, I love I, guitars a lot. I think you do. You're absolutely amazing. The the um, do you ever like write songs? Though? Yeah, definitely. I do you have any songs. songs that you have written that you are? Yeah. Written? Because I know that um, you. I have wrote um, the song with YKB. Oh. Yeah. YKB and King Promise. Yeah, I wrote. Man, man, yeah. this must be love. Korea. <laughs> I like the song. Yeah, that's a smash. That's a banger. Mm, okay, and do you think you would ever play Young John of Fields on us? Ah, definitely no. Just that goes crazy. Right yeah, right. Yeah, I'm not shy. Ah, I'm not shy. You. Mm, I don't know what she's yeah, talking you're just about. Just a calm no. guy. <laughs> Pretense. <laughs> that's what this life is. It's crazy. <laughs> but um, I think you're absolutely amazing. The the record that. So I write music. Yeah, you she's badass. So she's joking. badass. You always Trust think I'm joking. And the crazy thing, I said this four years ago. And y'all laughed. Y'all were like, oh, Claire, you. But comedy is not my only forte. <laughs> I'm talented. Like, that's what it looks like. You're yeah, bad, <laughs> so you're bad. Literally, the worry. first time, you know that, that song, that was my first time actually writing a record. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hadn't really gone into it. Can't wait for that song to be out, though. I hope you put this out. I do you think I'll put it out? Mm. Do you know that after that, I've written like, what, 15 other records? Ha. And start what? dropping musical. Hmm. Yeah, but make I just pull the terms on them. Right now. Bruh, because when I was at work, right, like so the, the thing I do I'm, when I'm on air, I'm on air for four hours and because I'm usually playing music, mm-hmm. right? Sometimes I just get into it and write random songs. And because I don't really have the mind to release any music, mm-hmm. I'm just like, hmm, what genre can we play with today? <laughs> 
Let's write some blues. I have like three blues records now. Uh-uh. <laughs> That's serious. Too. Rah, I'm hard as hell. <laughs> but there's something that you did though that I find very, very commendable because that was my first time recording. But like subsequently, I saw what the process was like and I thought, mm, I'm really did a thing that time. Mm-hmm. Which was that thing you did with the chorus. So do you always implement that style of production where like the the artist is has already come up with the melody has written lyrics and you're like mm-hmm. i think you should change that and add this like something fresh like, yeah definitely yeah i try my best to like give an input yeah stuff. ideas and artists art, most artists love that because they can't do everything do you mm-hmm. get to so, like kind of they even like you more like ah this guy you'll feel wise your guy. vibes here you guys will walk more because <laughs> most some people are shy like i think maybe most producers they don't put in input mm-hmm. you just but i think with time everybody just you, you just yeah it. you get into time. it so. okay, that's absolutely amazing and before we wrap up the show out of all the records you've dropped that mm-hmm. are out right you know what let me for lack of a better word let me say out of all the records you've recorded mm-hmm. which one is your favorite and which one out of the one that's out and which one can you not wait for me to hear hmm Don't say I, re- I really like um, the one with Diver's Salt that's out. Oh, it's true. Oh my God. That's my second favorite song that he produced. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> <laughs> so I was going to mention, I forgot, when I mentioned Komiyo, I was going to mention Salt. Salt is such a... That's a beautiful song. I I, literally... I'm glad it's getting... It's, I'm glad it's going crazy right now. I like, had to send real. you a video on Snapchat. Do you remember? I was like, oh my I God. I love that song so much. And, and the thing that when we're even making that song, like... We're both tired, but we just knew that ah, something is here. Mm. So, how did the process happen? Was it was it that like Davas was a half show? Sure, yeah, he was. I think he was having a camp, so it was just me because we've been working a lot since yeah, I know you and for Davis a long time. So he was just like ah, let me see how and pull up now. So I just called my guitarist, very bad boy, promise. So he just he just came through and he played the chords and. I just made the drums and that was just did his thing. So when you made the beat like a fresh then? Yes, no. Like, it wasn't even a beat that you had. I mean, no, we, we made the beat there. Crazy. So wait, it was at night? Y'all yeah, it was, it was at night. We recorded till morning because that takes his time to like write beautiful mm, lyrics. Y'all sleep. Yeah. Straight up. You, you yeah. didn't say that. I think we finished the record up. in the morning. I, we, had, we had to nap. Now, we're human beings. Yes. <laughs> G- 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 like we just I think we took like a little power nap and we just Went go straight to, to it in the morning, yeah. So I know I'm asking a good question, but this is my favorite song I gotta ask. Um but like so you he pulled up he asked you to pull up, sorry, mm-hmm. with your guitarist, you mm-hmm. made the drums, mm-hmm. he came on, dropped Did the thing. melodies, mm-hmm. and then started writing it, yeah. and then you were adding on the beats yeah. on the then goal. After that, the thing is that with it was it was uh where there are like two or three different versions of that okay. song so like we did the first drums and i was like ah there's no hitting then after he recorded that i just went back home to like do some of my omzi omzi please omzi spices i just did it i love that so yeah <laughs> so th- that that beginning that hello yeah yeah it was I, his mom that did that so was that always there was no 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 after the song i think it was his idea it's like I think his mom sent him that voice note a long time oh, ago. So like he was like, hmm, my God, artists are so guys, what do you think? Let's put it on. Yeah, he now sent it to me. I was like, hmm. It's so cool though. That, that was that's my favorite. That, yeah, most people like the Bruh. most. Everybody's always saying amen. I don't amen. even know what to say. Like I subconsciously <laughs> say amen at the end of the song. Yeah, that is crazy. a beautiful song. I can't lie. Now such a good song. If you haven't jammed up to salt by divers. Yeah, she listened to it. It's a banger. It's so good. So, one last question about salt before we move on mm-hmm. <laughs> from it. Did, was it like an idea that he had? Like, okay. No, I that's the thing. I this. don't even know where he, that came from. Like, he just. I think the guitar chords were really spiritual, so he just knew that he had, he had to, go to go deep. Like he had to. That's he the had deepest diver has gone in any of his. Bro, do you get? Divers is usually talking about love and crowds yeah. And, I think yeah. everybody, yeah, I think people, like, they understand how he's feeling. So, like, everyone they loves, it, yeah, they can relate, they can like, relate right. you get. So, just in case you're wondering what song is it, like, there was this part that he was like, make a note turn to salt if I turn, turn my back, back on, on my, my goals. goals. Crazy That's, line. Right, because everybody's hustling yeah. outside. In fact, a lot of people are doing jobs that they don't really want to do, but it's because of the just money. Have to do, yeah. Do you know what I mean? They're just doing it and they're like, hmm. If I turn my back on this goes, make I not turn to salt, <laughs> but I'm going to death my life. 
<laughs> I really, really here for it. So thank you so much, Anzi, for coming on my deck. Now, before you leave, guys, mm-hmm. I want to know, what's one thing somebody will do that will absolutely irritate you immediately? Like an ick. Hmm. I think cheering loud. Hmm. Talking too much, right? <laughs> <laughs> you have to bring that back. I got to bring it back. Because I want to know if Dwight yeah. irritates you. No, no. Uh-uh, Dwight no, no. irritates you? Mm-hmm. But cheering loud. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know how to do that. All right, I'm Zim. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me, Claire. I'm coming on my day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I like your Tim's. <laughs> hey, you're on Pop Central. If you want to catch Omzi, I feel like some people watching are oh my God, he's so fine. Where do I find him? Mm. Where can they find you? On Instagram, at God Omar. G-O-D-O-M-A-R-R. Snapchat, Omzi, please. Of course. Twitter, God Omar, same thing as my Instagram. So, yeah. So why is your Snapchat not the same thing as your Instagram? Why is your Snapchat? Omzi I don't. I just didn't want everything to be. But it was the same thing. But like, I just wanted. You wanted your Snapchat to be Omzi, please. Yeah. For obvious reasons. No. All right. Thank you so much. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> if you want to catch me, though, I feel like you might know this by now. It's K L A I R E O N Y E K A. You see how I said K? See how I said K? Okay. Bye. <laughs>